Hey guys, so we just, we just, we just. <laughs> we're at like a really big truck stop. It's called We're Bucky's. at Bucky's. Show them the, show them the, For show the them first the sign. time. Show them the sign. You know you're from the Midwest when you get excited over a <laughs> giant gas station. Oh, Want to get one? Oh, it's a phone holder. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh my god! Hey guys, this is a sticker I'm getting. Hey guys, so we made it to the Airbnb last night at about 3 or 4 in the morning and it was quite scary driving up here in the dark. The drive was fucking terrifying, like coming up the mountain was actually scary. Hey guys, this is my bathroom. This is my room. Got a call from my girls just to talk shit. Heard it all, but we still do it all tonight. So I brought three books on this trip. So the first one I brought is the one I'm currently reading, which is Akatar, which I'm super excited about. I feel like I could definitely finish this. So just in case I do finish Ooh. reading that, I brought Akamath. So if I finish that one, I'll go into this one. But if I'm not feeling like reading those, I brought The Wishing Game, which I picked for an add-on to Book of the Month. And I've heard so many people talking about this, and I'm really excited about it because I think I will really enjoy this. And also, can we just talk about how beautiful this cover is? It is indeed beautiful. It is. Those are the books I brought. Hopefully, I'll be able to spend a lot of time reading. Maybe on that deck. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay guys, Glenn made me breakfast this morning. Handmade. I didn't update you guys about what we did yesterday um, because it was a pretty busy day. We left the cabin at 10 o'clock. Yep. And we went to the Hollywood Wax Museum and then... Insert pictures of some of the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, first, we actually went to Flapjacks and ate breakfast. Then we went to the Hollywood Wax Museum. And then we went to... The Crime Museum. The Crime Museum, which I think the Crime Museum was my favorite thing so far. Better than Bucky's? Maybe not better than Bucky's. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's really hard. But yeah, we did all those things yesterday, so it was pretty... <laughs> Oh, rapid fire. And then we went to Harpoon Harry's Crab Shack, which was, it nah, was okay. It was not good. It was all right. Today, we are going to Anakista. Probably going to ride a mountain coaster. I'm not really sure what there is to do up there other than that. So we'll just have to see. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some pictures or videos or whatever. Tomorrow, I'm actually going hopefully going to Books A Million, and I've never been to Books A Million. Hopefully I'll be able to find some good books. And the aquarium. And the aquarium, which tomorrow's probably gonna be my favorite day. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, hopefully I'll be able to take videos and I will talk to you guys when I'll see you again. Tennessee and today's just a chill day like we're just like packing up our stuff plus it's rainy out it's really beautiful I'll try to get a video of the outside right now I'm gonna do a collective haul of everything I got I got a lot of clothes and then I also went to my first books a million which I'm super freaking excited about so I'm gonna just do a collective haul of everything I got this pink tank top and then I got the same one in like a little floral print and then I also got these shorts that say Nashville. I also got these two shirts that I'm wearing in this one at Aeropostale. And then I got these sweatpants, which are super soft. Then I got two pairs of jeans. I got these ones. 
in the high rise of Wild Lake uh, Church and they have like little pockets and stuff. This um, sweatshirt, this tote bag, which is super cute because I love jellyfish and sea creatures. A Pigeon Forge Tennessee sweatshirt. Okay, so that's all I got for clothes. Now I'll show you guys what I got at Books A Million. So I went crazy in the store. I'll start with all the discounted books that I got. So for the discounted books, I got Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez. I don't know much about what this is about, um, but I got it for $4.97 in the back of Books A Million. I just figured, like, if it's $5, I'll get it. It's a cute little romance. That's all I know about Abby Jimenez books. But I've heard really good things about it, so I picked that up. And then I got Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. Funny story, actually, we were looking down like the regular aisles and I saw this book and I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. Um, I kind of want to get it. So I picked it up and I was going to get it. And then we went back to the discounted area and this was back there for $4.97. So that's pretty cool that I got it for really cheap. Then I got The Hotel Nantucket by Ellen Hildebrand. I don't know much about what this is about. I just know that she writes really good summer stories and I'm thinking of doing a video where I read summer books and I figured I could put this in that. And it was only $6.97, so I'm really excited that I got this. And then I got One Italian Summer by Rebecca Searle. Um, this one was $7.97. I already took the price thing off, but this was also in the discounted area. It's a bit dirty, but you know, it's discounted and $7.97 for a hardcover is pretty freaking good if you ask me. Also don't know anything about this. I just know that everyone likes it and it's a summer story. So I got it for the video that I'm gonna do. So those are all the discounted books that I got. Next, I got Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This I've heard is phenomenal, like Hunger Games in space. And Haley Pham loves this book and I got it because Haley Fan loves this book and I've heard really good things about it. And also if I read it and I think my boyfriend will like it, I'm going to make him read it. We already talked about that. Yeah. Then I got The Prison Healer by Lynette Nani. Noni. I read the the summary of what it was about in the <laughs> store. <laughs> Shut up. And it sounded really cool. Like, I've heard about it, but I've heard really mixed opinions about it. Like, a lot of people love it and a lot of people hate it. So we'll see how I think about this. Really excited about it, though, because it sounds really good. And I also think the cover is beautiful. Then I got Keeping 13 by Chloe Walsh because I have heard that this series is a lot like Magnolia Parks. I have the first book, obviously, so I figured that if I really like it and it's like Magnolia Parks, I'm going to want to go straight into the next book. So I figured I'd just get it while it was there instead of waiting to order it. And then I got Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I am so excited about this. I have been wanting to get this, but I've been like really scared because I'm not a big fantasy person. So... I was kind of iffy about getting this, but I saw it and I was like, everyone likes this and the cover is beautiful and the sequel is coming out soon, sometime this year. So I figured I'd just get it. Again, I'm not sure what it's about, but I just know it's going to be good. I've not heard one bad review about this book. So um, the next two books I got are Bear Town and Us Against You by Frederick Bachman. Um, funny story, I actually got the third book in the series thinking that it was a standalone at Target. And I was going to bring it on this trip to read. Then I found out that it's actually part of a series. So I figured I'd just get the first two books so I can actually read it. Then the last three books I got are the first three books in the Addicted series. So I got Addicted to You, Ricochet, and Addicted for Now by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I also heard that these are much like the Magnolia Park series. So that's why I picked these up. And I think I will really enjoy this series. So... Those are all the books that I got. I'm most excited for these. Like these are the ones that I went to the bookstore looking for and they had every single one, but obviously I don't really feel like buying every single book of the series until I know that I'm actually gonna like the series. So those are all the books that I bought. I'm super excited. Now I know that I love Books A Million and I think I like it better than Barnes & Noble. But yeah, those are all the books I got. Can't wait to read them and tell you guys how I feel about them. Yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you guys again. Bye.